Hello everybody and welcome to a new series. Today we're going to play uh, All of Fabric 3 as you can see in the background, this is a picture of it. And in fact on the bottom left hand side, it, at the bottom it tells you the version of the mod pack and if we have a quick look at mods here, we will see how many mods are in the pack. There's 173 mods in the pack. Um, so some of you already know like uh, Applied energy sticks and apple skin. Apple skin, by the way, gives you the food, and the rest of them we'll find out as we as we progress. There is one mod I have disabled, um, but first of all, we'll create the world. So let's single player, and we create a new world. And I call my world's world because if you ever move it to a server, then that's the name you'd actually put it as. So we don't need to change anything. So we've got survival. We'll have difficulty as normal, we'll enable cheats and we'll do some more options and we'll place into here a seed because I have been doing some testing and leave the rest of it as it is and then create the world. So this takes a few seconds. Uh, while, that's while it's starting up, what I'm going to t tell you about is I've had quite a few problems actually running the pack. Um, I'm using multi-MC, so what you do is you download uh, the zip file which contains the information about the mod pack and then when you've done that you then ins uh, install an instance or add an instance to that and you'll notice when you edit the instance it actually in installs forge uh, installs forge and, the, and a mod called jump loader now jump loader is a mod um from actually yes is a, is a mod from um there's a forge mod which basically then jumps over to um, fabric. So what I do first of all is I then disable the uninstall forge and install the fabric mod and disable the mod um, jump loader and then the next thing I do is I start the game as soon as I start at my PC. So here we are at the beginning let's have a look at the quest book. There's a quest book and basically this quest book shows you it takes you through the progression of the, the pack. So let's click here and let's have a look. So we've got 230, 300, oh, to, hard to read, 223 quests. And we've got five different categories, six different categories. One, we've got Kibi, Tech Reborn. So these are the major mods in the pack. So we've got Kibi, Tech Reborn, Industrial Revolution, Modern Industrialization, Applied Energistics, and Storage. And that storage will be more than one mod. So let's just start with Kibi. Let me open it up. And you see, the first thing we can do is to make hot pockets. Now, hot pockets, what we have to do is craft a portable, a pocket crafting table. And to make one of those, you need a sign plus some wood. So let's go and start breaking down some wood here. First thing I'm going to do is actually put a marker down here, and we're going to call it World Spawn. That's called a capital W. And then we'll give it a, a color. Let's, let's give it something bright like yellow and confirm that. So we know where we start, so we basically run from there. So let's climb up here a little bit and get to some of these trees and start chopping down some trees. This one will do as a starting point. Actually, I'll leave that, I'll leave that one there because it's best to leave one block at the bottom because you can jump up it if the tree is tall. Now some of the trees in this particular uh, cypress forest are very tall. And there's a lot of biomes in this mod pack too. So while we're just chopping up those, first thing we'll do, we'll make a sign and so we've got six logs. I'm going to keep two back and I'm going to do the rest here and convert this to virtual planks. We shall make some sticks and we, sh and we shall make a crafting table because we need a crafting table and then we can make uh, a sign. So we need to put the crafting table down to make the sign. So we need like that plus one stick makes three signs and then we break the crafting table in fact what would probably be a good idea to make is a first of all is to make an axe wouldn't it so let's make a wooden axe so we've just got the right things to do let's break the axe up let's break this up like that and then we can then um use that we should be able to craft that in here i don't think there's any reason why we can't and as you saw that but then you had a crafting station between the two times so this quest is now complete so we can then go to the quest book we should we still be at the same place and claim the rewards so now we've got three pieces of gold and a hat the hat doesn't really do much it's just a bit of decoration as you can see so next thing is i'm going to mine a few uh, 
chop down a few more of these trees and I'll come back in a few seconds when I've got a lot, enough wood. Well, I've got 21 pieces of wood and things are starting to drop down. The fast tree decays isn't as fast as other ones. So let's just push this out of the way. We've picked up our first cypress sapling. Uh, I'm going to make a crook. Now, in this mud pack, crooks uh, allow you to... Um, what's it? Basically, what they they do is they allow... I'll keep this one. Right, okay. They don't give you anything special, but it does give you a much higher chance of getting saplings. So, for instance, when we move and sticks as well. So, when we break this here, we'll probably get some, as you see, straight away you're getting saplings um, from the trees which are here. And of course, it breaks down the tree. And you can then upgrade this crook to different levels. And it doesn't do anything except for increases the durability. So, now we've got a few bits and pieces. And I think we'll just leave those to despawn and disappear. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go off to a village. And I know where a village is because I've been playing this pack for a bit. And it's over here. I think it's over here. I'm not 100% sure. Let's have a look at the map. And you can see that it actually exposes something. So over here there's some, a structure of some description. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it is. <laughs> I will be honest with you. But we'll get a move on because we need to go and get some... Uh, materials like some coal and the, the first thing we're going to do is while i'm doing this is to make a big torch there's a pig it's a white pig looks like a sheep doesn't it right so i shall see you in a few minutes when i've actually i could do a fast um <clears throat> i could get, do a, uh, what's it called a time lapse through the through here but um we'll probably do this trip, trip more than once so and maybe I'll do a time lapse another time of the different biomes because there are actually a lot of different biomes in this pack. Maybe I said that just now. Anyway, so I'll see you in a few seconds. Right, I found some another ore here, and for this particular ore, as we, it's called lignite ore, uh, lignite coal ore, and it's a coal, and it says it needs a pickaxe of iron one. Now that basically means a stone pickaxe. So let's just craft up a stone pickaxe because I just dug up some coal behind me. Um, in fact, it might as well make a stone axe while I'm doing this as well. Stone axe are a reasonably good weapon to start with. Um, and also it has a use, so we're not wasting too much stuff. So we can then harvest this lignite ore now. See, it's got a little tick between harvest, currently harvestable. And it's a green tick. When it's got a red one, you can't do it. It just breaks and disappears, so you lose that block. Now, what this lignite ore does, first of all, you can actually be doubled so you can get like for each one of these you can get two blocks of coal it's also coming up to night time so i'm going to have to do a bit of um digging in here and protecting myself but since we've got coal and wood we should be all right so in fact what i'm going to do is i'm going to just do it in here make a double use of this because i see that we've got some coal at the background in the back here like that so let's dig our way into here And at the same time, we shall make a torch. Now, one thing about this mod pack, and I'm not sure well, this is a general general thing for um, Minecraft, is it has quite a lot of caves. In fact, it has almost too many caves. I'm going to just put a block down here, and that'll block it off. Uh, there's a bit of daylight down here, so we can see. But we'll also make a few torches at the same time. So I'll just make, I'll need some logs first of all. Um, planks, don't I? Let's just make four. Don't need to use up too much. I'm keeping my resources under control as much as possible. So now I would like to make a torch. I guess I can do that from this one, don't I? So just four torches will do. To start with. So we put one down here so we can see what we're doing while we're actually doing it. It also shows us the entrance to where we are. And you can see on the on the mini map there is a lot of there are a lot of caves around here. And I don't really want to go caving at the moment because I don't have much protection. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go my my way down a bit here. Um <clears throat> and have a look at this. Actually we can have a look at this lignite ore that we've got in here. So we'll have a look at the uses of this one. You've got 26 already. You can you can smelt it and it will produce a lignite coal. Now, a lignite coal, the use of that is very much like coal itself. You can then create torches from it. You can use it for 
as a fuel. Um, you probably can't turn it into blocks, but you can. You've got blast furnaces, smokers, and furnaces. You can use it for fuel. An emaciator will actually then turn it into lignite coal dust, and that can make lignite. What's the use of this? Presumably, it burns eight items too, and it can be hammered into. All yeah, right, you can hammer that into uh, lignite coal again, and other uses just as fuel but I saw one breaking it up didn't I look at these uses of this you get nine dust and one dust burns 0.8 items okay so it's no no better so there we have that so let's just I'm just going to be busy here for a few seconds and I'll come back as soon as if I find something interest interesting or it's daytime right here's some potash ore and this we can mine up I've done a bit of mining <coughs> And I'm not sure exactly what the uses of this is. I suspect it's... We'll have a look at it in a second. So this is from Croptosis. And in the, in the pack here, we've got quite a lot of Croptosis mods, uh, features. And so one of these is potash. And I got a feeling, because all of this is food stuff, it's probably going to be um, a fertilizer. So I'm going to mine it up anyway. and then carry on waiting until it becomes daytime so I'll see you in a minute or two so it's daytime again I'm going to climb up to the top of this uh, mountain if I can find a path that way we shall see if we can find this village I'll just break my way through this so you can see it's pretty handy having a, a pickaxe so maybe I'll just put a block down here I don't want to fall down that one do I <clears throat> so we've got some more coal up here and I'm going to mine up the coal and I'm going to see you in a, in a few seconds when I've reached the village. So I'll see you then. Well, I'm still on my way to the village. And as I'm going along, I'm mining up as much coal as we can. Because <clears throat> one of the things we're going to do is build a big torch. And these trees here are quite interesting too. These are... Um, does it tell me what they are? Probably too far away. Yep. I'll just have to chop this tree down. So let's just do that. This is oak wood, but these trees aren't actually oak trees. So let's just stand up here. And then we'll use some wood blocks to climb up a bit more so we can reach the top of this tree. It's it's a big tree, like they usually are. But really what we want from here is a sapling. So these are orchard leaves. So this tree is an orchard tree. <clears throat> Let's just carry on. Let's carry on chopping this up because wood is nothing. We can use a lot of wood at the beginning of the game, either for making charcoal, which makes torches. You'll see why we need torches in a minute. But the other thing we're going to have to concentrate on in this pack is nourishment. There's a there's a mod in here. Not sure which one it is, to be honest with you. It basically means you you have to watch out for your nourishment, and that's actually quite hard. It's um, and I'm not sure if it's 100% balanced right. I think that's all the wood in out of this tree. Looks like it is because it's starting to decay. So we'll just get a few of these. Let's see if we can get a couple of saplings from this one. You get a lot of apples as you just saw there. And there's a sapling. So any of these ones with apples on, I've actually got quite a lot of apples. Let's just break that down and we can go chop this down now and while we go down <clears throat> let's just chop this down with the wooden pick with the wooden axis just something I need to get rid of so I might as well use it up like this so how many apples did we get some sticks some saplings and some, well, quite a few saplings as it happens so what do we get seven saplings 23 apples and you'll see underneath that it says fruit so here on the top right hand corner of the of the inventory panel is a golden carrot and that tells you the nourishment so you can see here that already my fats are a bit low so if i'm lucky i can find a cow and there might be one around here i might be able to increase the fats i think milk is one of the things that gives you fats have a look bucket of milk protein okay no now these fats that's basically butter and such stuff let's go and pick up the, the other items that are dropped and carry on to the village 
Oh, and what, one thing else we'll do while we're while we're walking along here is we'll break. Oops, don't mean to do that. Let's break those up. Is to get it's a harvest grass. You can use tall grass or whatever type. You can actually use crops on here like this. And I think it's supposed to increase the chances of you getting. Oh yes, it does. Um, <clears throat> chances of getting different things. So here we've got some broccoli seeds, cabbage seeds, and chili pepper seeds. Ordinary wheat seeds, and these corn kernels from tobacco um, tobacco craft. We'll cover those in a, in in a while. So. I didn't expect them to be quite as many as that, but my inventory will get very full very quickly if I do that. So I'm, I'll refrain from breaking this until we've found the village. And I think the village is over here. Anyway, I'll see you when I get to the village. Right, I'm very near to the village now. And you'll see that we're in a weeping witch forest biome. Um, they have all of these trees, which look actually quite interesting. But what, I haven't explored that very much. We'll do that along. We'll get coarse dirt in these as well. There are, as I've said, I think already there's a lot of biomes in this, in this pack. Now, can I see the village on here? Let's just look at the map. Yes, I think the village is here. But there's also a, a structure here, which we should see on our one of our sides. I'm not sure which one it is. It's probably the right hand side. So we just carry on along here. There it is. Now these we want to avoid. Oops, that's a big hole. And um, because they've especially got mob spawners in them, <laughs> and lots of them. And this is a quite a hole. A uh, lot of these are mushrooms, by the way. And here we are. We've got to our village. So that's great. Now, also, I'll look on the map here. Before we go and explore this village, I've seen something else. There's a structure, you can just go to the map here and we can see there's, a, there's something over here. Is it, I'll come back to the village if, it, if I don't get, do this in time. So there's some cows, we could get some milk from them. So go and have a look at this thing over here. It's not too far away. And there's quite a few cows around here and there's probably quite a few. I think there's some sheep around here as well. Now where is it? Just in front of us. Oh, look at this. This is a. This will be a meteor from uh, Applied Energistics. Indeed, it is. So I'll come back to this uh, in the morning. But first of all, I'll go back to the village and find a bed, and we'll have a sleep. Because that'll be the that'll be the easiest way. So I'll see you in the morning. Right, I'm in the village house, somebody in the bed, so I'm not going to sleep here. But what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to craft what I said I was going to craft, a big torch. So let's get this out of here and, and craft a big torch. Fairly straightforward to do. You just need a block of coal, like that. And then you need two uh, wood, wood blocks, and this makes this big torch like this. And then we can put this down here. And you right click it and then you can fill it with torches so let's make a lot of torches so i've got plenty of wood let's do this lot to start with that'll give me 32 sticks so with that because i already had four there we shall make just under two just over two stacks and as you put those into here like this it says it's now a chunk radius of four and what that means is it's going to protect us from mob spawning in the chunk radius of four blocks so if we have a look at the mini map now we should be able to see maybe there aren't so many mobs around there's one over here and that'll be a zombie because i heard something like that so let's just increase the number of the these into here like this so i need some more that's limestone that's not much good that'll give me another four and this will give us some more let's turn those into planks because i've got plenty of oak logs down there Actually, i'm not sure what that noise is let's put those into here like this and while i'm doing that i'm going to cook up some of this lignite or oh, oh, we've got 44 of those so let's make a furnace so it doesn't obviously pre prevent mobs that are already spawned 
spawning again so let's put the furnace down here like that and then let's put into this some sticks so I need two sticks will cook one item so I'll put two sticks into here like that and then that will give us one lignite coal which we can then use to cook the rest of those up so I shall be back when I've got some more uh, torches so see you in a few seconds well it should be daytime I also noticed this feature if you press alt left click alt left it locks a, uh, a slot and you can't then move any items out of there give me a little bit of a problem I will be honest with you <laughs> So how many have we got in there? Twelve. So let's make some more. Let's make some more torches up because I think it's probably daytime. I need more than that, don't I? So we'll put the rest of these sticks into here. I can see there's a, an iron golem there, and I think there's no mobs around. Is it daytime? Yes, it is. So we should be safe enough to go out. Let's have a quick look around because I kept hearing this mob. Nope, we're safe enough. The, the villager hasn't woken up, so maybe it isn't daytime. I suppose that's a clue. So look, oh, he's woken up now. So we actually have in here some bits and pieces. So apples and some strip wood. Okay, that's fine. And some oak saplings. What we'll do is we'll put our other saplings in this house. Um, and seeds, let's do that to start with. Uh, in fact, what I'll do is I'll take one of these seeds out of here like this. I probably will leave the Tachograph ones away and we'll, we can sort, of course, with this button here. And we'll take the cabbage seeds. We'll plant those up and we'll see if the, the potash actually makes a difference. Uh, with these seeds, let's put those in, uh, torches, I mean, let's put those torches into there. And so now we have a five chunk radius. And I'm going to keep filling this up till it's filled up. But let's put, let's just create a marker down here. Um, we'll call this house. Not my house. We'll just call it house, and blue will do fine. Confirm that. And now we go. So now we should go and have a quick look at the um, and see if we can find the chest from that meteor site. That's a bit steep down there. Don't want to jump down there. In fact, what we'll also do while we're doing that is we need a bucket of water. Is there any water about here? Strange noises, sorry. I did think I saw a... F yes, here's some water. So maybe with a bit of luck we can take this... Uh, that's coarse dirt. Can we, let's just craft um, a hoe up to start with. Do a stone hoe. Have I got any more wood? Yes, I have. <laughs> I was just worried I used all the wood up again. I'll make some sticks out of that. Uh, so I'll make a stone hoe. Oops, try again. In fact, I think there's one thing you can also make. I'm not sure it works with stone or not. Yes, it does. And you can have a stone war axe, which has got a, an attack damage of eight which is a pretty good weapon to have. So we'll leave. this one's got an attack damage of oh, 09. Oh, not very good then. Maybe that was a mistake. <laughs> <clears throat> right, okay, so I was trying to make a hoe, wasn't I? Let's just do the hoe quickly. Usually the um, some of those war, war axes have a huge amount. So that's 0.5 attack speed. I'm not sure if that's good or bad to be done, honest with you. Right, so can we um, hoe this stuff up? Oh, well, that also gave me quite a few bits, and we can in fact do that. So what I'm going to do is put down these f seeds we've just got, because that, that should hydrate, because that block of water is there. So let's just let me get some corn seeds. Let's put these three down here. Like, ah, oh, no, I've just turned those into non-farmland, haven't I? I? Have to do it twice. Right, good. That got hydrated straight away. Chili peppers and broccoli seeds. And the fourth one was cauliflower seeds. Okay, good. Let's put those in. And what happens if we then try the potash on that? So I'm not sure it's going to work. Oh yes, it's just like uh, just like bone meal. Fantastic. Okay. So right, I'm off to the. Oh, he must be making those noises. The iron golem. So let's go and find this meteor site again. 
and then mine it up. There's also a second village which isn't very far away. Now between episodes, because I'm coming to the end of this episode, I am going to go and find the other village, put a marker down there, and we'll see how lucky we are with the this meteor. And, and we'll do the other, the other one, and there's another one in that village as it happens, because I this is my second recording so i know that there's a second one down there and it was actually very good it had three plates in but this one i don't think we'll have so i've got my stone pickaxe i haven't got an iron pickaxe which would be a lot better for doing this so we have to find the middle of this bit here so the middle of the meteor looks like it's there let's just break the gravel out of the way in fact we haven't got any gravel yet So we'll obviously not go that way, but we know there it is there. So it looks like the middle is here. So I'm just going to mine this up. And it's very slow. So I shall... Um, Skystone is very slow, so I'll see you in a few seconds when I've got down. So it was, I was lucky. I got one straight away. So we've got an inscriber silicon press. Fantastic. And a gold nugget. And a piece of Skystone. I'm not going to use the Skystone chest even though it's got more storage space than a standard chest you can't sort things so easily in there for example i think you can press the middle button no that's not working um maybe you can press r no that just sort of try again no so you can't really sort on this one whereas you can sort quite happily in your own inventory as you've got your little sort button here like that so a small coal here i shall in fact i think i'll call it a day so between episodes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find some more coal. As you can see here, there are also some, already some minerals. On the right hand side at the bottom, there's some um, quartz from Applied Energistics. And on the left, there's gallium ore, I think. And then behind me also, there's some more quartz ore. But I think I need an iron pickaxe for those items. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.